In this video, I show you how to fix the error of scratch discs are full in Photoshop. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. So the main reason you're getting this error of the scratch discs are full is because you do not have enough storage on your computer uh, for Photoshop to run. And therefore, it can't properly run things and you're getting this error here. And maybe when you first go and launch Photoshop or when you're trying to open up another file, for example, or create something new. So in order to go and fix this, ultimately you need to go and create more space on the drive which Photoshop is running on. So I'll show you how to go and do that now. So all you want to do is go and close off of Photoshop just like so, and here we are. Then if you're on Windows, what you want to do is come to the search box just like so, and go and type in storage just like that, and you can go and open up your storage settings. And this is gonna go and help um, you go and see what sort of storage you have. So first you do need to identify which drive Photoshop is on. It's most likely on your local disk, which is what um, Windows runs on. As you can see, I've got 65 gigabytes free, so it's not a problem for me. But if I wanted to go and save some space, what the great thing about this setting is, is that you can go and remove your temporary files. So tap on this here, and it's gonna go and show you everything you can go and remove um, in order to go and free up some space, for example, downloads and things like that. But do just be aware that you will be deleting these files. And if you're on a Mac, you can do the exact same. All you need to do is go and press on the Windows button in the top left of your Mac, and then go and press About This Mac. And then on the About This Mac page, um, it's sort of like a little box, you can then go and tap on Storage, and you can go and see what free storage you have, and you can go and manage it, um, and go and find some things to delete. You can do the same thing in here. Go and tap on Apps and Features, and this is gonna go and show you uh, the apps which are taking up the most space on your computer or just how much space they're taking up. For example, I could go and uninstall Adobe Bridge and go and save 1.65 gigabytes. A further solution is to go and change which drive that Photoshop Scratch Disk is actually using. So to do that, all you need to do is go and open up Photoshop on either on Mac or Windows, and then come to the top and you need to go and tap on help. Then go and tap on Photoshop help, just like so, and it's gonna take a moment to load and you get the discover tab. And then all you want to do is go and type in Scratch Disk, just like so. It's gonna go and find it pretty quickly and you want to go and tap on preferences. Then it will take a moment to load and here we are. Then what you can do is actually go and choose the drive you'd like to go and use your scratch disk on. You can go and tick more um, and things like that. So that's definitely an alternative you can go and try. And if you're struggling to even open up Photoshop to go and change the scratch disk, then here it does say you can go and change your scratch disk by holding control alt when launching Photoshop. And if you're doing that on a Mac, you can go and use command and option or command and alt. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.